Guys, the chicken is here bringing you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to go over what the best defense is so far in Season 7 so you can avoid attacks like this happening to you. Uh, what happened here was this guy had his mind so uh, very well placed at the very end. Um, chicken might have underestimated them a little bit, uh, and we walked over top of them. I, I still had most of my heavies left, and just, just, just rinsed them, just soaked the heavies. Um... So yeah, man, well, uh, we're, today we're going to go over um, some of the best defenses because that seems to be what uh, I'm struggling with the most uh, at the moment. I don't think our offense is really holding us back because, I mean, the offense is max, max heavies with brick, right? Um, so there's some key changes that we can make on defense that I think are going to go a long way here. So let's, uh, let's get into it, guys. Let's get into it. So uh, what we need to unlock is this bad boy right there. And we do not have enough keys for it because we need 28 uh, plus 32, which is tough. So what I'm going to do is unlock troop health. And let's max this out. It shouldn't hurt us, but it's not going to help us a ton right now either. Um, <clears throat> but unlocking shock mines is the biggest thing because uh, right now you can't avoid... Uh, mines right as we just saw on on the chickens um, a beautiful attack there So you can kind of space them out around your base and you force people to hit them and that's you know shock mines are gonna add um, You know five ten seconds to uh, your opponent's attack time um, Without you having to really do anything so uh, it, it makes a big difference and um it's important because the, the meta right now is just all heavies, and it, it, it's a base race. So, I mean, anything you can do to shave a few seconds off uh, is going to be huge. So, let's, uh, you know, we didn't get the upgrade that I was, you know, planning on, but we got troop health. So, let's uh, let's see what we can make. Uh, let's see what we can make happen with that. Now, it was maxed. Uh, we did max it out right away. So, it... Um, it should be interesting, I guess, at least to, to see what uh, that's going to be like. Because the biggest thing right now is just flamethrowers. These flamethrowers are just, uh, they're melting me. The flamethrowers in the mines, like, it just seems like I can't do anything about them. So, um, we're going to take down that engine. Then we're going to go like this. Now, I tend to use battle orders um, as I'm moving across uh, the areas just to help with speed. Obviously, it, it helps as well to, um, to do damage to buildings faster, so... You gotta kind of mix it in. You know, it's good for a lot of different things. Um, okay. So look at this, guys. Look at this. Now, I haven't even used smokes at all. And, um... We're still looking pretty strong here. So, I think that troop health, um... I think that troop health upgrade was actually huge. Yeah, because I was not getting, uh... I was not getting the heavies to, uh, to the third engine that quickly before... Now, that guy's base also, it did seem like some of his defenses were a little bit uh, underleveled. So, maybe he had less ice overall. It's hard to say. Um, now, he was ranked 15 before we started. And then he was ranked 16 as the um, as the thing was showing up. So, it, it kind of gave away who won there. Ah, oh, man. Back to rank 15. Ouch. I'm getting flashes of the last season, guys, where we progressed a little bit and then moved backwards. I'm hoping that doesn't happen again. Um, so here's what I mean with the shock mines. Like, I got nothing to go around these things. You know, I could go up and around, but that's, you know, it's going to waste more time than it is going through them. So there's almost no point of doing that. Now, if we can kind of, like, space them a bit, so not all the heavies are getting crushed at the same time, then that's going to help us a little bit, but for the most part, you can't really do anything about them. Certainly frustrating to uh, to go against, but... Um, y you know, it's going to help out your own defense a lot. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know, guys. This is what it is. This is what it's turning into. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to getting past, um, three engines. Uh, at this point, it's become a little, you know, it's a little grindy. It's not as grindy as two engines, so I guess I'm thankful for that. But <clears throat> it's always a grind, man. Like, you can't escape the grind of warships. That's how it was designed, I guess. Um, was not designed to be easy. So let's see, uh, let's see what we can make happen here. These friggin' shock mines, man! I'm telling you, like, look at this. Like they add up so much over time. Now I feel like my attacks. I'm either, um, I'm either getting crushed, and it's like, or um, not getting crushed, but it's either like very close, or I smoke the other guy. Like it's not even, 
uh, anything. I've had a few of these attacks now where they've been, like, unable to get a single engine room. Oh, okay, this guy's just scouting forever. Either way, I don't think he's gonna get there. Um, because he already let four bolts go out somewhere. It looks like he did a split, uh, a, a split push, but it didn't really work out for him. Um... Yeah, you can do the split push sometimes, but if the guy has too much ice or his uh, defenses are upgraded too much, um, there's no point in doing it because you're just going to lose half your heavies on one side, even if the other heavies like up over here, like uh, if the four of them do make it, they typically, you know, you end up going like this where it's like you're you're barely at the end and uh, you've used up so much time just because you've only had like six heavies fighting uh, where you could have 64, so I think he gets 64 heavies. In total? Someone do the math on that. This flamethrower might kill all of them. Nah, he's not going to. I actually hope that it goes down sooner. Because it's going to take a long time to finish this. Come on, Murphy. Bring it home for us. For God's sakes. Um, but yeah, overall, I'd say I'm still having fun on um, Season 7 so far. It's, uh... You know, it... it, it and I watched uh, Shish Kebabber's video. Uh, I think he put it out yesterday or this morning. Um... Oh my god, I've beaten by 41 seconds. Um, or 31 seconds. Or no, 41. I don't know. Um, and uh, he was playing around with bombardiers and... Uh, what was it? Uh, rocket ch rocket choppers, I think. Something like that. And uh, it looked interesting. And it's good to see that it's changing. So it's not just going to be the same thing forever. Um, but it would be nice, yeah, admittedly, to have a little bit more variety in what we're doing uh, at the moment. But it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. So I, I, I do feel like uh, a lot of the comments I saw yesterday, some of the people are starting to come around once they get out of that two-engine grind uh, without having instant training. So that is good to see. Whoa, this guy's got rocket launchers. Wow. Um, okay. This is interesting. This time I'm going to try something different. I'm going to save my battle orders. Because I don't really need it right here. The rockets are going to do nothing. So I would hold off on upgrading those for right now, guys. And let's go like this now. And we're going to try to get through this really, really quickly. Okay, let's smoke here. There we go. Okay, we're looking good here, guys. We're looking good. Boom! Three minutes and five seconds. So. Basically, the, the main difference there was uh, I didn't mess around taking out his defenses. I just uh, used battle orders um, as soon as we got into the middle where we needed to get in and get out really quickly. With the clustered bases, you can get away with that. With the spread out ones, it's like, yeah, it's kind of up in the air where the best place to use battle orders is. And that's really what your attack comes down to is when you're using battle orders and when you're flaring to engines versus taking out defenses and stuff. So, um, Okay, let's do one more. Let's do one more, guys. We got back into 16, at least. If we ended the video on rank 15, I wouldn't have been happy. Um, now, this one I can actually do a split push on, because he doesn't have any defenses. Why? I'm not sure. But he doesn't seem to have uh, any. They'll be okay up at the top there. And we'll go like this. Nice little shock right there to get things started off. And... Okay, let's go another round of battle orders here. Okay, we'll flare them all into this. And let's move them up, move them up, move them up. And battle orders is going to stop, but we still have... We have all of our heavies alive. We didn't lose a single heavy there. Wow. We didn't lose one heavy throughout that whole match. That's crazy. And we got 3 minutes and 16 seconds, so... Good stuff, man. Good stuff. So, kind of turning it around. A bit off to a slow start. Kind of a, a head dive. But uh, we managed to make something out of it there. So, um, yeah. Shock mines, guys. Shock mines. Definitely the most important um, defense in this kind of area. Rocket launchers, not great. Boom cannons are important, but they're not going to save you a ton of time. They're going to chew through, like, you know, a boom cannon. Like, some really well-placed boom cannons. They're going to take out maybe six or seven heavies throughout the whole match. Um, maybe a little bit more if the guy really doesn't know what he's doing. But, um... Shock mines, mines, flamethrowers, machine guns, your splash defenses, those are going to be uh, the most important ones to go over. 
And um, in terms of base layouts, we can get more into this in another video, but uh, it seems to be right now the spread out. Um, defense is kind of everywhere. Watch your replays, see where uh, your opponents are attacking your base mainly, and um, try to put your minds on those areas where uh, they seem to have to walk through. So, guys, let me know what you think of that down below in the comment section. And as always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one. Guys, check it out. Bear